Select Jog Mode and Machine Area. There will be shown the following information on the machine screen. The Active Operating Area, which at the moment is the Machine Area. The Active Mode of Control, which is Jog Mode. Time and Date. The Loaded Program. The Status Indicator of the machine. It is in Reset Mode. The Active Program Control Modes The Axis Data with the position of X and Z The Technology Data which is Tool, Feed and Spindle Data The Operating Window and Information Line There are 8 vertical and 8 horizontal soft keys on the screen There are 2 arrow keys as well they will be used in the video for navigating around the control. The arrow up is the return soft key and the arrow right is an extension of the horizontal soft keys if available. There is a USB port on the left side of the controller. You can for example transfer program files from one controller to another. At the top of the controller there are three LED status lamps for power supply, ready for operation and temperature of control. On the right side of the controller you can see the keyboard. It has all the most common character buttons. By using a shift button and a specific button on the keyboard you can use the small characters at the top left hand also. Delete and backspace are used for deleting an input button enters information or opens files. Below the keyboard, you can see the operating area navigation buttons of the controller. For the program navigation, you will often use the blue arrow buttons and the select button in the middle. The six buttons on the right are the main operating areas of the control. These will take you directly to the respective areas with just one button press. Now we return to the machine control panel. On the left hand side you will see the emergency stop button, which you only use in an emergency. To the right there is a number in the digital display. It shows the active tool from the tool management of the controller. Below there is the mode navigation of the controller. You can use the hand wheel, jog mode, reference point mode, auto mode, single block and MDA mode. Further descriptions will be covered later. The darker grey buttons activate and deactivate further functions. If the lamp is active with Program Test, the axes are simulated. M01, the machine is in optional stop mode and ROV, the feed rate potentiometer is active for rapid movement. On the right, you can see 12 buttons which are made for individual functions by the machine tool manufacturer. For example, activating and deactivating of the coolant. The next important keys are the direction arrows of the X and Z. When you hold the middle rapid button and the direction of the axis will move in rapid mode. Below there are three keys. You use them for moving the axis in a defined length which is one micron, 10 microns, or 100 microns. Finally, there are two override rotary potentiometers. The first one is to influence the spindle speed and the second one is to influence the feed rate. The buttons below on the left side to select the direction of the spindle rotation on the right side is either reset, stop or start the active program.